What's up guys, today we are going to be swinging for the fences and taking a long shot at where Call of Duty 2017 could be taking place, the setting, the era that it's in, and uh, a lot of people kind of expect it to be in one of two different wars. So number one is the Vietnam War, the second one is World War II. So obviously those are two super safe bets. I mean, a lot of people like Call of Duty World at War, a lot of people really like Black Ops 1. If we're going back to the roots, back to boots in the ground, both of those would be really great time periods to go back to, and I don't think anybody would be upset with that. But what if we're going even further back than that? What if we're going to the American Civil War or even the American Revolutionary War, all right? Hear me out here, guys. Like I said, this seems like a little bit of a stretch right now, but it's kind of fun to think about, and uh, we could have gotten a hint today. So today on the Sledgehammer Games Twitter, they tweeted out this tweet right here, and it says, On this day, the 20th of February, 2017, we celebrate George Washington's birthday, also known as as President's Day, all right? So, and then it's got this cool little image of George Washington and the stars and the Sledgehammer Games logo and all that kind of stuff. Now, at first glance, this doesn't really seem like much. Like, yeah, it might be a little bit weird, but they're just kind of honoring and celebrating the holiday. It's whatever. But it gets a little bit more detailed from here. So, Jimmy, or Chaos X Silencer, I'm going to link his channel down in the description. Make sure you guys check him out. Thank him for getting us this info. He tweeted at them, and he was asking... Why'd you spell the date out like that? Like, what's the reasoning for that? Obviously, when it comes to, you know, kind of like the, the next new Call of Duty, when it hasn't been announced yet and stuff, these Twitter accounts always get so cryptic and secretive, and they try to leave us little traces of code to follow and stuff like that to get us hyped up. So he's trying to see if they'll we'll get anything out of this. And Michael Condry tweets back to him, of the people, by the people, and for the people. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, that's like the very last statement of Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, which... I don't know, man. Like, it's it's really weird. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that these tweets have any weight behind them. There's nothing just, like, absolutely concrete about this. This is mostly speculation. These could just be ways that Sledgehammer is honoring the holiday, and that's it. But it also could be a hint. And the reason why I'm taking it a little bit more seriously than I normally would is because of the time of the year that we're in. So, the new Call of Duty is always revealed in either late April or early May. And uh, usually we'll start getting official hints from Activision and from the developer, usually like a, a couple weeks before then. And then if we get any legitimate leaks, like from retailers or things like that, sometimes those can happen up to a month before the reveals so we're kind of getting close to that time period like it won't be too long before we start hearing rumors and, and different things like that which is kind of exciting and even more so than that something I was kind of thinking about today is don't you guys think they might start it up earlier this year right now there are a lot of people with a sour taste in their mouth when it comes to Call of Duty. They didn't really like Infinite Warfare. They don't like the supply drop spam and adding in all the new stuff to Modern Warfare Remastered and stuff like that. People aren't that happy. And honestly, the COD hype train is going slower than it's ever gone before. So why wouldn't this year, if they're bringing back the savior Call of Duty, the rebound Call of Duty, where we're going back to the roots, back to boots in the grass, it's gonna be what everybody wants, why wouldn't they release that earlier than they have in the past? Like, why wouldn't they want to change people's perception from being upset about what Call of Duty currently is to being excited about what it could be later this year? So, I don't know. Like, we're, we're right smack dab in that time period anyway, and it would make sense for them to do it even earlier this year. So, who knows what the time frame is looking like here, but it's really, really exciting. Now, this is where we're going to get crazy. So, let's pretend that these actually end up being hints to the next Call of Duty game. Like I said, there's nothing that solidifies this. We're just kind of going out on a limb here. But let's pretend like it, it was. Let's pretend that these ended up being true. What would we be looking at? Well, the George Washington tweet. George Washington, obviously the first president of the United States. He also led the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War back in the 1770s and 80s. So, we could be looking at the Revolutionary War... Or we could be looking at this Abraham Lincoln quote that Condry tweeted. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States, and he led us through the bloodiest battle in our history from 1861 to 1865, the Civil War. So we could be looking at a Revolutionary War game or a Civil War game. Obviously, that sounds kind of exciting because it's definitely never been done in Call of Duty before, and I don't think I've seen many other games that have done it otherwise. So, I mean, it's an untouched era. They could completely start up a new story, start fresh, and it could be really cool. Like, think about the campaign mode of the Civil War. Like, one of the bloodiest battles in history. That would be absolutely insane. The only thing that makes me think 
that this isn't very likely, or the, the main reason why I don't think this is very likely, is because of the weapon selection. So, like, the weapons back then were really cool, but they were really crude. Like, they had swords and bayonets and muskets and pistols. I'm pretty sure they had grenades. They definitely had cannons and artillery and stuff like that, but there wasn't really a whole lot of variety, which, like... How can you make a multiplayer Call of Duty game without a, a variety of weapons? That's what most people love about the multiplayer. So, you know, I, I mean, these guys, they were in the firing lines where they, like, sat there. The front line was crouched. The second line was back up behind them. They would jam the gunpowder down, put the little pellet down the barrel, raise it up, fire it, and then reload for, like, five minutes between every shot. So I don't see how a multiplayer for Call of Duty could work out with that unless they had some sort of a twist. Was there, like time travel involved or you know i don't know it, it, it could get really weird there but um I, I wanted to kind of explore the idea with you guys because like i said everybody is expecting that vietnam era or that world war ii era could they end up going even further back in the past that would be pretty crazy so uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments thank you guys so much for watching i'm gonna catch you guys later peace out